I want to say though, it was interesting because we didn't match on OkCupid, and then we saw each other on the street, and I feel like that was the, we were like, wait a minute, so this like online, and then we see each other in real life, maybe we have to actually meet. This was a full, I actually know the story to a T. I'm okay, sure okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was on a date with mm -hmm. an older gentleman. Yeah, with an older gentleman. Yeah. He was like 78 <laughs> years old, y'all. My man was in a cane, like just walk, I was like, wow. She's with her grandfather right now. Hello there lovers and friends. Today's video is brought to you in partnership by OkCupid. And oh, what a video was about to be. I am helping two dudes that I used to date find love today on a dating app. And naturally, we're using OkCupid, which to me is the best damn dating app on the planet for three solid reasons. Number one is their commitment to matching you on what matters to you. Secondly is their thorough profiles and finally, Everyone is welcome on OkCupid. And as you just heard, that's actually where me and Johan first met a few years ago. But all in all, I'm excited for you guys to meet them. I'm here with a long time. Oh, we're oh, live? Yeah. I didn't know. I thought we was just, okay, hey, how you doing? I'm here with a really good friend of mine who used to be my lover. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Can we tell the stories of everything? You used to be my lover. That's hey, not even a song. No, but it's it not. It, it should be. be. Just the coolest, most down person that I probably know. I'm really glad you asked me to do this video. Are you actually really glad? Yeah. Yo, I am such a fan of online dating because I met so many incredible dudes that way. For example, remember the, the butt paintings from my old apartment? Those were actually done by this guy named Ray who I met on an app. My friend Ricky who went on to style the engagement photos of me and Jared. I met him on an app. He now has his own jewelry line and we are big supporters of his. Some of the dudes I met online did graphic design work for me and a lot of the times when you guys see dudes pop up as actors in my video, I dated them first. So I feel like I have every right to call myself an expert when it comes to online dating. So why not spread and share my expertise? But before I could go helping them, I had to figure out what they'd been doing wrong all this time. Oh wait, you said that your OkCupid okay profile back in the day was all tacos. Yes, I had, no, it wasn't all tacos. It was Nacho Libre, oh. <laughs> that's different. Okay, so there's a social and there's a work. Okay, oh so, that's nice. Yeah, so this is, this is my social. Which is also a work photo. Yes. Yes, but yes. Social, it's supposed to be photos of you that are candid, maybe around family and friends, you cooking. These are all professional photos. So what does work look like? I think it's the same. It's not the same. Okay. Oh, uh, oh wow. I didn't pick this song. Wait a second. <laughs> It's good. It's like a very specific. It's very specific. Yeah, exactly. It's a... We're going to redo it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. I'm not saying that we're redoing it because it's bad. Yeah. It could be better. It could be better. It could be to catch a different level of people. A different kind of taco. Yeah. Okay. Different kind of tacos. <laughs> not not your Libre taco. Keto, maybe. Oh. Okay. okay. Here's my bio. I model, coach basketball, and make jewelry. Want to know more? Just ask. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't like that. My least favorite like conversation starter is like, well, ask me anything you want to. Like, look how conversations go. Like, you give me a prompt. Give me a reason to ask you a question. Like, start a conversation. This okay. just feels arrogant. Well, we'll change that when the Entrepreneur in fashion from North Hollywood. I mean, you have beautiful photos. You know that. You're beautiful, man. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to create your OkCupid okay profile today. A better. A better OkCupid, okay okay. an expert OkCupid okay profile. Now, if you haven't watched my other OkCupid okay video on the science behind what pictures go in what order, you may want to go watch that first. But if you already watched that, this next part is going to make a whole lot of sense to you. Okay, so your first photo needs to be Wait. like a great headshot of you, like nipples and up. Not a professional picture. It can be professional, but not like you with the smoldering oh, oh, eyes. Oh man, how about this one right here? Damn, that's, that's pretty good, hot. Come on, that's a good one. That should one. be number one though. Oh man. So we'll start with the first. This is a really good first photo. But you know what? Do you have a slightly happier one? So um, one that has color preferably. You do have great Instagram photos, but I feel like they're all farther. I feel like I'm not sure if I have some close-up stuff to not use. Not that I'm on your Instagram all the time. You know what I mean? You ain't snooping. Selfie. Is it smiling? Smirk. That's a good little smirk. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else I got. We want like dead on, clean lighting. Here's one with nipples. I said nipples and up, not oh, meaning not, like, oh, right. Okay. All right, so this okay. is, you said number two? Picture number two should be you doing something 
that invites a question. Mm. Okay, so I'm just on the phone right there. Right. That's <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah, who are you calling? Why are you already cheating on me? <laughs> Damn. That's probably the best one we're gonna... Okay, let's do that one. Let me just look more down. Let's do that. But save that one. Okay. Look, this you and me. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Your third photo should be a picture of you doing something that's like extreme. Extreme? Yeah. So like, whether that, the thing that you do that makes you exciting. Hmm. Do you go on a hikes or do you do skydiving? <clears throat> do you have... Well, I mean, I speak in front of yes! thousands of people. Do you have a picture of that? Which is like a lot of people don't want to do that. I do. Okay, okay, now we do a dog photo. What about a modeling photo? That's going to be last. Last? Yes. Oh, man. Have you had luck? I'm just, you're, I was thinking, like, maybe I've been doing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know. We need a weed out photo. A weed out. A weed out photo is a picture of you that represents something that you know is going to be a make or break for someone else. So just like saving mm. yourself time. Okay, well, <clears throat> it should, I think it should be a modeling picture because if you're insecure or something like that, I model, so I, I'm around other models often. Yes, this is actually by far the best profile I've ever seen before. And yes. that's just because I'm sitting here curating. Mm. I think this is great teamwork. Okay, I agree. All right, so first photo, <clears throat> let's do second photo, fighting. Second photo, fighting. Third photo, smiling and speaking. Third photo, boom. Fourth photo. With the kids. Yep. Yeah. Fifth photo, a conversation. This Sixth is, photo, just boom, because I feel like boom. I'm sexy. Then weed out. Then Mr. Rogers. Next, we crafted their about me section, which in my opinion is the most overlooked and underutilized section of any good online dating profile. If you put too much, like sometimes. It's a lip, there's a balance to it. It's, yeah. a, it's a tweet. So it's less than 180 characters. We're not going too much, but it still should invite a question and tell people what matters most to you. Okay. I am in LA for the week. Let's link up. <laughs> <laughs> What's the ask me question? I love to start about these with an ask me about. Like, what do you think that you are an aficionado at? If somebody wanted like the best of something, what would they go to you for? Well, usually people come to me for wisdom, advice, um, big ideas. Like storytelling dating profile. yeah that's what i'm saying well, you me asked me you. okay hey beautiful people i'm an la native so ask me where to find the real mexican food i have a charitable jewelry line that raises awareness to various causes that are close to my heart speaking of hearts my dog's name is prince <laughs> meaning, meaning <laughs> like it's just like when I'm <laughs> <laughs> so it's like i'm just gonna say that. <laughs> so like if we think about it, like you got a story, I got a story, but I tell the stories that you may not tell. So like when people are doing the vows, when I read your self summary, I knew that because you were a storyteller and that by trade, <laughs> someone just liked me. That was so quick. And you were doubtful. Thank you. Thank you, you Shannon. Of my work. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Usually people do not like me. <laughs> Okay, Cupid has like a thousand incredible questions that are not just hella fun to answer. They're also a really great way to communicate with the algorithm what you're looking for to again match on what matters to you. So I asked Johan and Pearson 21 questions a piece because obviously I want them to get the best possible matches. But for time's sake, here's just the highlights. How important is religion in your life? Oh, very important. Extremely important. Extremely important to me. Do you smoke? No. No smokes. Do you want them to smoke? No. Not at all? Not, well, I mean... Do you enjoy discussing politics? No way. No. You're a deal no person? Way. Really? No. I, I enjoy discussing politics. I'm not in it, but I think it's interesting. Okay. Still no way. This is my, this is my, <laughs> okay. this is my profile. <laughs> can you tell from someone's dating profile whether or not you'll get along in real life? <clears throat> Definitely. How can you tell? Uh, usually you can sense like there's a sense of humor thing. That's the biggest thing for me is like do you take yourself too seriously? And also there's another thing a lot of women put down like I want an adventure and it's like everybody What is this big adventure that people are talking about right. and if you're too sort of vague about that like I like some specifics Life's an adventure. Yeah, life's an adventure. You should be living an adventure. This is adventurous Yeah, you should not depend on me to bring this adventure to you. We should collaborate and create it Ooh. Jordan. All right, you date somebody who was really messy. Depends, like they like live with me? I've seen your place, yes. My place is clean. It's clean and sometimes it's a little untidy, but it's mm. not dirty. No, it's not Like dirty. I might have like a jacket on the floor or something, mm. but it's not like there's like dirty dishes. I feel like when I went to your place, like all your groceries are just out on the counter. Yeah, but that's not, that's not 
dirty. That's just like, like you said, like not very tidy. Right. But it's not like there's like. It's like one thing because the cupboards are just right there. <laughs> like it's just, it's not as if like you put it right where it needs to be and then just okay. refuse to do that. Okay, but this is saying messy. That means like if you like leave trash. You I don't know, think it, so. They're it, not like, saying filthy. You're not like, are you a scumbag? What's the question? Would you consider yourself a feminist? Oh yeah. Easy, easy. Come on now. Choose a better <clears throat> romantic activity. Kissing in Paris, kissing in a tent in the woods. You Paris. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. Have you been to Paris? Nope, but I don't want to go to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Do you often make jokes that offend more uptight people? This will be a hell yes yeah. for me. Holy. I, I do too, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want them to also make offensive jokes sometimes? Uh, that would be great. Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can, I, wanna, I wanna line up with you on this one. Is jealousy healthy in a relationship? No. I'm gonna say that's important to you. Because imagine the person who's clicking yes to this. Or is that still somebody that you're like, I mean. I mean. <laughs> you're terrible. No, because you, you have to think, like, I'm not opposed to just a, a one-time thing. And I'm not opposed to meeting someone I really like. But even a one-time thing with somebody who constitutes jealousy as a healthy component of a relationship, do you think that person's going to be comfortable with the terms of a one-time thing? I don't know. We're gonna just, I'm gonna answer this one for you. It's Go ahead, now. okay. Now. You like to read. You I like to read. I have actually out right now. It's true. It would be cool if you didn't look at me when you did it. Dang, I know. Yeah, okay. Straight ahead one. <laughs> no, not that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at this point, we have determined why they downloaded OkCupid. We chose the best photos of them. We wrote a killer about me. We answered a bunch of questions to help the algorithm make the best matches for them. Nothing left to do but to do it to it. What, is, what does this percentage mean? That's how much of a match she is based oh. on the questions that you answered. Oh, answer. got it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I think yes, right? I would go yes. Okay, uh, wait. Six, seven percent match. What do you think about this? Let's see. Hard. She's a hard worker, but she don't know the difference between two and two. Okay. No. Right. So we got. I'm sorry. Name. I'll just say yes. It can't hurt. Look. And then. And then. Oh, definitely yes. Tongue ring. Wow. Yeah. Spending time with me is like being on a never-ending adventure. Adventure. I told you. No. This is kind of fun swiping with someone. It's much more fun. Your criteria is very wide. I actually I appreciate that about you. We should probably narrow it down a bit more, but. The range of people that you're like, oh, is interesting. I'm just, you know, trying to leave all the options okay. open. Oh, she's lovely. Nice girl who loves to Come eat. Come on. Can't do that See, but that, you See, know what? Trying. You're right. The summary is important because if you ain't saying a damn thing, then no. I'm just a girl who resides in LA with a strong, intense interest in science, fitness, and psychology. Oh, she's a match for me. She it. I'm, I'm currently no. a student majoring in psychics and on my way to becoming an astrophysicist. I'll say no because I understand why you would say no, but this would be a yes for me. Just know that, M. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, let's go. Are you happy with this? Yeah. I, I mean, just the Puerto Rican and except mushrooms. Yeah, I'm not. I I'm mean, usually reading. You like to read. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you, like, you can read. <laughs> so this is yes. that what happened? Yeah, let's go. This would be a good, like, one time thing. Right. But you're not swiping for one times, are you? No. Because one times will just naturally occur. My mom's quote is like, you aim for the stars, so you land in the treetops. If you aim for the treetops, you land on the ground. So you should aim for the people that you're like, this is my few months to a year, but if it doesn't work out, we can at least do it at night. These coasters and Brits find me hilarious. You know what? Right? The fact that she put laissez-faire in there. What does that mean? It's like uh, the low key oh, you leader. Know. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, so I there's a, it's actually a style of leadership. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, hell. So, you know what? Let's go. How do you feel about her misspelling English? <laughs> I'm going to go with the yes. I think I have a flair for what you're looking for, though. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's see. Looking for my best friend. What? I have two dogs that I adore. I work as an analyst. Now, is it bad? Because I feel like. Two what? dogs a little too much for me. Really? Yeah. But maybe she's a house. I can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do no? it. Yeah, I can't do it. You put the dogs in your pictures? Yes. It is a good. <sighs> it's a good habit to put a picture of you and your dog, but not. But, uh, but a headshot of your dog? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I can't do it. No. no. I don't like people who describe themselves as blunt. 
I feel like you're just saying that like people find you disagreeable and contentious and you've made that a part of like your character. I say honest sometimes. I think when you describe yourself as honest, you're like, people think I'm a dick. That's what you're trying to say for code. I do think that people sometimes get that. Oh, it would make sense for you. How do we feel about it? Well, I mean. Let's give it a try. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay. Let's do it. Boom. So we were open to many things. We got three solid, very unique candidates here. Mm -hmm. I think that your profile is killer. I mean, only they, because of they you. Would be, yeah, I know that. Let's be real with right. it. It was one of those compliments that was, like, it was like playing wall ball. Yeah. I threw it's it, like, let's but see. I knew it was coming right Yeah, back you know it was coming back, right. I think we should end I, on this note. I like her, yeah. Please. Okay. Well done. All right. As you can tell, I had so much fun doing this video. As a matter of fact, if you want me to come and like okay Cupid with you, I just might be down. Oh, but speaking of down, I gotta give a shout out to Pearson and Johan for being down to do this video. I asked a lot of people and they were the only two that agreed. So I gotta give it to you now. Here's the floor. Any last words? Well, do we do a follow up or something? Or is this you just leave me right here? Okay, let's yeah, do it. Let's yeah. do a follow up. If you I want, know. maybe we'll do some messaging coaching. All right. Although I feel like you might be, this might be your strong suit. Yeah. I I mean, I do okay with the communication part. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of, it's kind of his thing. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to learn more about Johan Amelionis. <laughs> you don't know my last name. It's okay. Kalilian. It's hard to say. Kalilian. Yeah, Johan Kalilian. Yeah. If you want to know more about Johan Kalilian, go in the info box below and find all his stuff. Or if you want to, go find him at OkCupid. What's up? I'll be there. I want to know. Keep me up to date if you go on a date with somebody. Okay. Yeah. I think Should I keep you done... up to date if there's no date and something else? Yes. Keep me up to date if there's no date and something else as well, too. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for attending. Now I have an OK Cupid. You do have an OK Cupid. I may not see you for a minute. You be busy. That is it. And if you haven't already, please go in the info box and download OK Cupid so that you can start matching on what matters to you. And in the comment section, let me know could you or would you do this with your exes? Uh, yeah, I used to think about you when I had no one to talk to. Had a bougie kind of 